In this video, I'll show you step-by-step -step instructions on putting together the Harbor Freight Steel Utility Cart. We'll start by opening the box. I like to separate everything and make sure everything is in there. On your instruction manual, it does have a list of all the parts that should be in here. Once you get everything unpacked, I like to unpack the hardware, and this is what the hardware you should have. The tools I used on this, 24 millimeter socket, a 19 millimeter socket and wrench, 14 millimeter socket and wrench, and some needle nose pliers. For this step, we're gonna need the front axle support, and that's the one with the hole in the middle. We're going to be using the yoke. It's this orange piece. We'll insert two bolts through the front axle support and the yoke and place two washers and two lock nuts onto the bolt and then tighten the nuts and bolts. By the way, if you get value out of this video, please hit the like button and subscribe. Then you'll place the front axle support and yoke assembly onto the stud in the center, secure it with a washer and nut, and then tighten it down. Next, we're gonna place the rear axle support on the two bed studs in the back and then put in a washer and lock nuts. And then we'll tighten these down. If you still have these little black caps on, now would be a good time to just go ahead and take those caps off. Next, it's time to put the tires on. These tires will go on with the valve stem facing out. For this, we'll be using the washer and cotter pin. After you get the wheel on, put the washer on. Once that washer is on, you'll slip the cotter pin in, and then using some needle nose pliers, just bend the cotter pin back around towards the axle. Once you get that on, just repeat until you get all four tires on. Next, you'll need to put the coupler onto the yoke. This one was a little tricky. I started by going ahead and lining the little black piece up once I got it lined up. Then I inserted the handle, kept everything lined up, then put the washer and nut on. Once you get that done, tighten it down. Next, we're gonna put the handle on using this pin and the clip. Just slides right on, and then slide the pin in, and insert the clip. Next, we're gonna flip it over and set the cart on its tires. time to put the back panel on with the lock handles facing out we'll put this panel on and then slide the clips in after that just repeat it for the other sides And the final step is inserting the bed liner. Hopefully this video has helped you. If it has, hit the like button and subscribe. Thanks for watching.